Hello, my name is Ian McCall. Today we're going to look at an interesting pigmented lesion that occurred in a gentleman's face. Let's have a look at it. This was the lesion here. It's a gentleman who's previously had a melanoma he, uh, on his scalp. He just trimmed his beard recently and noticed this pigmented lesion um, underneath the beard area when he uh, cut it off. If we have a little look at the next view. You can see there's a surrounding pink area and then there's the central dark blue area. And if we have a little look at the dermatoscopy of this, it looks like this. You can see there appears to be some sort of network down here. It looks like Lang's reticular. There's a dark bluey black amorphous area here, uh, a blue clod, and some surrounding brown, uh, again looking a little bit like uh, a network. If we take a closer look, then it resolves a bit better. We've still got this blue gray uh, area. Here, though, this is mainly gray. It's not really a network, there are mainly gray dots that are here and you've got a brownie black clod here so there isn't really a network surrounding this lesion and if we now go and have a look at the histology then this is what we see here's your epidermis here and then you've got these cells budding off from the basal layer of the epidermis and within them you've got these darkly pigmented areas Let's just go up uh, a screen or two to have a look at it, see if we can make that full screen. Let's just focus that a little bit better. Let's go up a view. And what you in fact see is that this is a pigmented basal cell skin cancer. This is the peripheral palisading of the basal cells that you're seeing here and there's almost a sort of cyst uh, formation in this um, and lots and lots of melanin uh, as globules within the center of these um, micronodules of BCC. You can also see some sort of free melanin uh, out here as well. If we look up at the dermoepidermal junction We can see here where it's budding off the basal layer of the epidermis. You may look along at these. I mean, the, the, the differential here was that this was a melanoma. And sometimes you might just look at these uh, clear cells here and say, oh, that's pagetoid spread of nevus cells, of uh, melanoma cells. But there isn't any proliferation of uh, melanoma or nevus cells at the dermoepidermal junction. But I think it's the degree of pigment that's in these uh, micronodules that makes this thing look uh, so dark in that area. And if we go along a little bit further, looking along this basal layer, I wonder if we'll see, you know, there's another little bit of budding uh, there coming off the basal layer of the epidermis. Not so much pigment in that bit. And if we move out further, that's the edge. This was where, this was basically a sort of punch excision was done up, uh, of this lesion. Um, because it wasn't terribly, terribly large. Let's see if we go along further to the end of this and see what we see. I think that's just part of a, a hair follicle there. Yep, as we go down. And as we go along here, there's a much more, there's a bit more inflammation there. You can see there's some, that might be contributing to the red area that we were seeing round about um, the, uh, the lesion when we were looking at it clinically. If we go along to the edge here, nope, there really isn't any other signs of, uh, of BCC in, uh, in this. We'll just sharpen that up a little bit. So this was a heavily pigmented basal cell skin cancer. Um, I think that's probably as high a view as we can get. Let's just go one more. <laughs> I 
There we go. Get that in a bit sharper focus as well. There we go. So you can see this layer of basal cells here, this peripheral palisading, and you can see all these granules of uh, melanin in the center of this, uh, this micronodule. So a heavily pigmented basal cell skin cancer was the diagnosis of this lesion. Thank you very much.